Hey, back for one more. Uh, I just want to talk a little bit about commercial Renai because I know on the pre on a previous video I kind of went over the uh, more of the residential type stuff that we keep. Um, when you're talking commercial for the Renai systems, so you've got your you know you so you got your CU 199s. That's what we keep. We keep them in natural gas and in propane. Um, on those, they're basically the same thing as the RU 199s. It's just they're 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 designed to go to a higher temperature. The controls are different. Um, one neat thing you can do with the CU 199 if you're in a situation where a customer needs to have two of them. There's a cable called a cascade cable that connects them and allows them to talk to each other. So if they have a, enough demand to justify having two of them, well, there you go. You can have two of them. Congratulations. Simple, easy, nice. And that's somewhat common. Um, another commercial option they have is the Demand Duo which basically the Manduo is a CU-199 slapped on the side of a big old tank. I believe they're 120 gallons, if I remember right. Um, for what they are, they're pretty reasonably priced, and they kick the pants off just about every traditional gas heater I've ever crossed them to. Okay, it's a serious heater. Um, you might run across a situation where you can justify using one. Uh, and they even make another model that's called the Demand Duo 2, which is two CU-199 slapped on the side of that tank. Now, that is a monster heater. Monster. Okay, that there's very little out there short of a, a very high BTU boiler that will keep up with that. Um, it's a fantastic system. And for the money, they're, they're very good. You get a lot of performance for the cash. Um... And Renai also has the rack system, which the rack system is really interesting because, you know, it's a, it's a pre-built from the factory. It's all, all the heaters are lined up. You know, there's a bunch of different configurations and different BTU ratings you can come up with. You know, they can have a corner style. They could be set up for wall mounting or ceiling mounting or being bolted to the floor. The water, the water manifolds are all pre-built. The venting can even come pre-built where all you got to do is just tie into it and run it out wherever you're going. It's a really, really good system. Um, probably not going to sell many of those, though, because they get pretty pricey. But if you got somebody that's on the fence on getting a system like that, the best, the, the biggest selling point of, the, of that rack system is that if they have a problem with one of the heaters in that system, the rest of the heaters still operate. It's just they won't have the same capacity. So in a like say a restaurant or an apartment complex where their the hot water is distributed from a center a center centralized location, that's huge. That gives them redundancy. So you know if one of the heaters goes down, well you know it's we need to get it fixed, but we have a little more time to figure out how we're going to get it fixed or who's going to fix it for us instead of being like a single really really large tank or a boiler you know where if that thing goes down holy crap we got to get it back up like yesterday so pretty uh pretty good uh, selling point there um one other thing i want to mention about venting pvc venting on the condensing units i don't think i covered this on the other one uh two inch up to 65 feet on the RUs, RURs, and on the CUs. Okay, 65 feet, 2 inch vent. That is, as far as I know, that's the best in the industry. Um, anything farther than that, you got to do 3 inch. But just remember that too. Um, that fairly well covers it. I can't think of anything else I want to go over right now. Like I said, I wanted to keep this one pretty short. Just a little addendum to the first one. You know, actually, actually set sat down and took some time to think about this one instead of just run instead of just wandering through the warehouse like i was lost <laughs> but uh this commercial stuff if you're not familiar with it if you need a question have a questions or advice you know reach out to carolina sales or reach out to me or 
or anybody else that has more experience with it. The stuff's really interesting. It's really cool. And yeah, keep doing what you're doing.